Christopher Sacker is an American venture investor, company advisor, entrepreneur, and lawyer. He is the proprietor of Lowercase Capital, a venture capital fund in the United States that has invested in seed and early stage technology companies such as Twitter, Uber, Instagram, Twilio, and Kickstarter, investments that resulted in his placement as number two on Forbes Midas list, top tech investors for 2017. Prior to founding Lowercase Capital in 2010, Saka held several positions at Google Incorporated, where he led the alternative access and wireless divisions and worked on mergers and acquisitions. Between 2015 and 2017, he appeared as a guest shark on ABC's Shark Tank. In early 2017, Saka announced that he was retiring from venture investing. Chapter 1 Early Life and Education Chris Hacker was born on May 12, 1975 and raised in Lockport, a suburb of Buffalo. His father was an attorney, while his mother was a professor at SUNY Buffalo State. Sacca, is of Irish and Italian descent, with family originating from Calabria, Italy. Sacca's parents exposed him to a variety of interests, and he recalls being pulled out of school to attend science museums and book readings. Sacker attended the Edmund A. Walsh School of Foreign Service at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. He spent semesters abroad at the Pontificia Universidad Católica del Ecuador in Quito, Ecuador, University College Cork, in Cork, Ireland, and the Universidad Complutense in Madrid, Spain. He graduated in 1997 cum laude with a B.S. in Foreign Service and was an Edmund Evans Memorial Scholar as well as a Weeks Family Foundation Scholar. He was a member of the Tax Lawyer Law Review and was honored as the school's Philip A. Ryan and Ralph J. Gilbert Memorial Scholar. He recalls that he managed to graduate without attending class, obtaining class notes by throwing an annual keg party where entry required classmates to dump their notes in a bin. He graduated from Georgetown University with a Juris Doctor cum laude in Law and Technology in 2000. Chapter 2 – Career Chapter 2 – Section 1 – Stocks and Fenwick and West Saka used his student loans to start a company during law school, and when the venture proved unsuccessful he used the remaining funds to start trading on the stock market. By leveraging trades for significant amounts he managed, to turn $10 to $20,000 into $12 million by 2000. Eventually, when the market crashed, Saka found himself in debt with a $4 million negative balance. He negotiated to have it reduced to $2.125 million and had repaid it by February 2005. In 2000, Saka began his career as an associate at Fenwick and West in Silicon Valley, where he handled venture capital, mergers, acquisitions, and licensing transactions for technology clients including Macromedia, Verisign, and Kleiner Perkins. Laid off in September 2001, after approximately 13 months, he spent the next several months attending networking events and surviving in Silicon Valley by drafting contracts and doing voiceover work as a freelancer. Creating the consulting firm The Salinger Group for networking purposes, he landed at Speedera Networks in May 2002. At Speedera he served as general counsel and head of corporate development, helping fend off continual lawsuits from corporate rival Okamai. Chapter 2 Section 2 – Google Positions In November 2003 Saka was hired at Google as corporate counsel, where he reported to general counsel David Drummond. As part of the legal and business development team, his first mandate was to find large amounts of data space, by negotiating and signing agreements around the world. Saka served as head of special initiatives at Google Incorporated, leading the alternative access and wireless divisions. Among his projects were the 700 MHz and TV white spaces spectrum initiatives, Google's data center in Oregon, and the free citywide Wi-Fi network in Mountain View, California. Saka also led many of Google's business development and mergers and acquisitions transactions and was on the founding team of the company's new business development organization. He was among the first Google employees given the Founders Award, the company's highest honor. Chapter 2 Section 3 
angel investments. While at Google, Saka began investing in companies as an angel investor, investing his own money in startup companies or receiving equity in exchange for advising. He served as a professional advisor to companies for a variety of matters, including strategy, optimizing user experience, raising money, and selling a company. This included Automatic and Omnisio. His first angel investment was in Photobucket, which was then sold to News Corp in 2007. His second investment was in Twitter. Entrepreneur Evan Williams had started a microblogging service called TWTTR in 2006, and asked Saka if he wanted to invest. Saka invested $25,000 and began using the service, registering in July 2006 as the 102nd user on the site. He related to Forbes that I wasted months trying to get others to believe it could be a real business, not just a toy, before deciding to just buy it all myself. Saka took part in a $5 million financing round for Twitter in late 2007, and ultimately created four separate funds to surreptitiously buy as many Twitter shares as possible. Saka left Google in December 2007 after he had fully vested and sought additional opportunities to work with early stage companies. Saka has stated that a turning point in his angel investing was in 2007, when he moved to the town of Truckee in the mountains close to Lake Tahoe. Entrepreneurs including Travis Kalanick and Saka would spend hours discussing ideas at the residence, and Saka eventually bought the house next door to host various visiting entrepreneurs. When money began to run low Saka raised a new fund with investors such as Brad Feld, Marissa Meyer, Eric Schuett, and J.P. Morgan Chase's Digital Growth Fund. Chapter 2 Section 4, Lowercase Capital Saka founded Lowercase Capital LLC in Truckee, California, in 2010 when he closed his Lowercase Ventures Fund I, an $8.4 million seed fund, in 2010, with investments in Uber, Docker, Optimizely, Style Seat, Instagram, and Twitter. Lowercase provides capital and advisory services to startups and late stage companies in technology and media. Lowercase also has some non tech related companies in its portfolio, including Blue Bottle Coffee Company and a high end restaurant in Truckee. Without the corporate backup funding available to many venture capitalists, Saka became very involved in his portfolio companies on a personal level. He attended meetings at Twitter and Uber, and he negotiated the rights for Uber.com from Universal Music Group, when the company changed its name from Uber Taxi. Although not on Twitter's payroll, he served as a crucial advisor during its formative years and worked closely with its early employees. Through 2009 he invested in companies such as Kickstarter, Twilio, and look out. Saka opened a new $1 billion investment fund in the summer of 2010, and later that year the fund began to buy large blocks of shares from Twitter stockholders, deepening Saka's position in the company. By February 2011 Saka's funds had purchased about $400 million worth of Twitter shares, giving it a stake of roughly 9%. When Twitter went public in late 2013, Saka's affiliated funds owned almost 18% of the company, raising the value of Saka's investment in the company to around $1 billion. Saka brought in Matt Matseo to lowercase capital as a partner in 2013, with Matseo heading a new early stage fund, lowercase stampede, out of Los Angeles. Matseo had worked at Creative Artists Agency, an entertainment and sports agency. Saka had a 4% stake in Uber by March 2015, and Lowercase was sitting on investments in Stripe, Lookout and WordPress Parent Automatic. Forbes estimated that Saka was personally worth $1.2 billion. By that time the value of his first Twitter fund, Lowercase Industry, had reached 1,500% of its original value, and his Twitter deals overall had returned $5 billion to investors. Also in 2015, Forbes said that Saka had built the best seed portfolio in history with funds, such as his lowercase ventures fund I, which had investments in companies such as Twitter, Instagram, and Uber. 
Fortune had also labeled Lowercase as one of the most successful venture capital funds in history. Chapter 2 Section 5, Shark Tank and Media Saka regularly speaks about venture capital and investing in media. He has been characterized as an expert by Business Week, Fortune Magazine, CNBC, the BBC, CNN, Fox and NPR. Also, Saka's interview during the initial Startup podcast inspired the pilot episode of the ABC television version of Startup starring Zach Braff with Saka to play himself. He played himself in the Overton Window episode of Billions. He has also appeared on other television shows. In 2015 he first appeared as a guest shark in episode 4 of season 7 of the ABC reality television show Shark Tank, which dramatizes seed stage investment negotiations. Subsequently, appearing in three other season 7 episodes, Saka invested in Hatch Baby, Be Free Honey, Rent Like a Champion, and Bright Wheel. Saka continued to appear as a guest shark in five episodes of season 8. Among others, he invested in a business that opens lemonade stands, and on February 17, 2017 in episode 168, Saka along with guest Laurie Griner invested $600,000 for 5% of Toy Mail, a plush toy which connects to a messaging app. Saka has a role in the ABC sitcom Alex Incorporated, where he plays himself and reenacts his interactions with Alex Bloomberg. Lowercase Capital had an investment portfolio of around 80 startups and a variety of more mature companies by 2017, including Medium and Uber. Saka was fully divested from Twitter by 2017. That April, Saka announced that he was retiring from venture investing and along with it his role on Shark Tank saying he was two years late on his plan to retire at 40 years old. He said his firm would continue to support its portfolio companies, but would not take on any new investments or raise more money from investors. Chapter 3 – Recognition Since 2011 he has been listed on Forbes Midas list, Top Tech Investors, when he was the youngest of the 100 investors listed. In 2015, Saka was featured on the cover of Forbes magazine listed as number 3 on the Midas list. And in 2017, he was listed at number 2. Business Week named him one of the top 10 angel investors, and Vanity Fair has named Saka to its new establishment list. Saka has a chapter giving advice in Tim Ferriss' book Tools of Titans. Chapter 4, Personal Life Saka's wife Crystal English Saka is also a partner at Lower Case. She is a former advertising creative and has authored books such as The Essential Scratch and Sniff Guide to Becoming a Wine Expert, Take a Whiff of That and The Essential Scratch and Sniff Guide to Becoming a Whiskey Know-It-All, Know Your Booze Before You Choose. The couple live in Jackson, Wyoming, and Big Sky, Montana, with their three children. He is known in business circles for his Western-style button-down shirts, which resulted in Saka being named to GQ's worst dressed list. According to Forbes, he bought his first, impulsively, at the Reno airport en route to a speech, and the reaction prompted him to buy out half the store on his return. At the University of Minnesota, Saka delivered a 2011 commencement address that NPR ranked on its list of best commencement speeches, ever. Active in sports such as surfing, kitesurfing, and skiing, Saka completed an Ironman in 2008, and in 2009 rode his bicycle from Santa Barbara, California to Charleston, South Carolina over 40 days for charity. In 2017 the New York Times reported that a woman had accused Saka of touching her face at a Las Vegas gathering in 2009 without consent, making her uncomfortable. Saka denied the allegation, but did apologize for contributing to a business atmosphere that was inhospitable for women in technology and venture capital. Chapter 4 Section 1, Philanthropy Saka is involved with charity, Water, a non-profit seeking to bring clean drinking water to every person on the planet. He is also involved with the Tony Hawk Foundation. Saka has served as an associate fellow of the said business school at Oxford University and as an MIT Enterprise Forum Global Trustee. 
He is also a Henry Crown Fellow of the Aspen Institute. In 2019, the Sackers each signed the Giving Pledge, which calls upon signatories to donate the majority of their net worth to philanthropic causes. Chapter 4 Section 2 Political Involvement Sacker worked for Barack Obama's 2008 presidential campaign, as a telecommunications, media, and technology advisor and campaign surrogate, as well as a field office volunteer. Following Obama's victory, Saka served as co-chair of finance for the presidential inaugural committee. During Obama's successful 2012 re-election campaign, Saka served as a member of the campaign's National Finance Committee member and as co-chair of the Tech for Obama group. During the 2016 U.S. presidential election, Saka was a vocal supporter of Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton, appearing in various fundraisers around the country. He spoke against Trump, and in response to President Donald Trump's 2017 executive order banning travel from seven predominantly Muslim nations, Saka donated $150,000 in matching donations to ACLU. Saka donated to the Lincoln Project, a Republican-led super PAC opposing the re-election of Donald Trump and Republican senators who supported him.